This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson 10, quotients with zeros. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Let's look at the homework helper as uh, some practice here. So if I have 815 and I divide by two, the first thing I'm gonna ask myself is how many times will, go, will two go into eight? I know that two times four equals eight, so I'll put four up here at the top. 2 times 4 is 8. Now I'll subtract. 8 minus 8 equals 0. My next step is to bring down the next number, which is a 1. So I'll ask myself, how many times does 2 go into 1? Well, 2 is greater than 1, so 2 will not go into 1. That means I'm going to put a 0 on the top here. 0 times 2 is 0. Now I'll subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. And the next number to bring down is 5. Then I ask myself, how many times will two go into 15? Well, I know that two times seven is 14, and that's as close as I can get. So I'll write seven. Two times seven is 14. When I subtract five minus four, I get one, and one minus one is zero. So I have a remainder. I don't have any more numbers to bring down. So I have an answer of, well, a remainder one. 407 with remainder one. All right. That's what you're going to do on these problems. So you'll ask yourself, how many times does eight go into eight, and so on. And what we're really focusing on is sometimes you're gonna have a zero in the answer. Like here, we had two goes into one, how many times? Two can't go into one, so we had to put a zero on top. So that's the skill that we're working on. So you'll go ahead and do number one and number two. On number three, you're gonna to need to write 841 divided by four. Okay, and then you'll work it out. I'm gonna do this one. Four goes into eight two times because two times four is eight. When I subtract, I get zero and I'll bring four down. Four goes into four. Well, that's easy, one time. One times four is four. When I subtract, I get zero. Now I have a one to bring down. Four goes into one zero times, so I'll put a zero up here. Zero times four is zero. And when I subtract, I get one. I don't have any more numbers to bring down, so that's my remainder, remainder of one. All right, let's look at the problems on the back. Monica wants to join the swim team. She practices 812 minutes in four weeks. She practices the same number of minutes each week. How many minutes does Monica practice each week? If I take the big number, 812 and divide by four, I'll get how many minutes she practices each week. Okay, number five, the art teacher asks her students to cut out apples from construction paper. Five apples can be cut from each sheet of paper. If she needs 1,045 apples, how many sheets of paper does she need? Write an equation to find the unknown. Okay, here's our number, 1,045. That's gonna be our dividend, and here's our number that will be our divisor. So you'll go ahead and work that problem out. Here we have which one doesn't belong. Circle the division problem that does not belong with the other three, and then explain. Okay, I'm wondering if it has anything to do with whether the answers has zeros or not. So I'll do 621 divided by six right here. Six goes into six one time. Okay, six minus six is zero. I'll bring down a two. Six goes into two zero times. Zero times six is zero. When I subtract, I get two, and then I'll bring down the one. Six goes into 21 three, ti three times. Three times six is 18. And when I subtract, I get a remainder of three. So in this problem, I have a zero in the answer. That's what I'm thinking is going to make them different, but you'll need to check out these ones to see what your answer is. All right, Abby and her family are going to Yellowstone National Park this summer. They drive 1,212 miles from their home to the park. If they drive the same number of miles each day for four days, how many miles will they drive each day? Here's our dividend and here's our divisor. Okay, thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.